on my previous video I asked for any requests and received this one so today's video covers installing AdGuard Home I wasn't aware of AdGuard Home until I made this video but I'll be going over installing the Docker container into our Open Media Vault environment. I'll cover using the command line interface as well as Portainer's web GUI. Any configurations or links mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. So let's get to it. Since AdGuard Home uses a lot of common ports, we're going to use a Mac VLAN network to place the container directly on the network as a separate device. Copy the config template below and paste it into Notepad. And then starting from the top, this is going to create a network using a Mac VLAN driver. The subnet and gateway will need to be adjusted to match your physical network. And the last line is an option to specify the physical network interface of the server. We can find this information in various places. I personally use the command line interface for most things. So let's go ahead and put it into our server. Type IP route and press enter. This will give us our gateway network and network interface. Now modify the config back in Notepad. Copy and paste it into PuTTY. After the network is created, let's copy the Docker config in Notepad. And this is gonna run the Docker container detached. Network is specifying the network we just created. IP will be the IP address of the AdGuard container. We want the container to restart if it stops unless we manually stop it. And we're going to use the official AdGuard container. And that's it for the config. We don't need to map any ports because we're running it on a Mac VLAN network. And we don't need to map any volumes because any configuration changes can be made through the web GUI. Now that we have the container config, let's copy and paste it into PuTTY. And that's it. It's installed. To set up AdGuard, we just need to browse over to the IP we specified and port 3000 and go ahead and click get started we can leave everything as default you can disregard the static IP warning at the bottom since we've already given our container a static address click next provide a username and password for the web GUI click next this screen explains ways to specify AdGuard home as your DNS server for various operating systems and hardware but we're going to set our router's DNS to the AdGuard container. This way everything on the network will use the container for DNS lookup. Go ahead and click next and then open dashboard. Log into the web GUI with the credentials you created. And I prefer to see the host names instead of the IP addresses on all of the reporting. Pahole uses DHCP relay to do this. Um, you have to use a reverse lookup on your upstream DNS servers to do it with AdGuard. Copy the upstream DNS server settings into Notepad and adjust the config to match your local network. The reverse lookup address inside the brackets will be directed to whatever IP address you specify outside the bracket. The IP outside the brackets will need to be your gateway. Now on the web GUI, go to settings and then DNS settings and paste the upstream DNS config and then click test upstreams. Once that's successful, click apply. And now we need to log into your router's web GUI to adjust the DNS server. You should be able to Google your router's model number along with the keywords change DNS to find out how to change them. And then once we've adjusted the DNS servers on your router, you should start seeing DNS queries. It did take about 30 minutes for my host names to start showing up instead of the IP addresses. And then now we'll go over the same process with Wartainer. First, we need to find our gateway network and interface. So let's browse over to our Open Media Vault web GUI and log in. Go to system information under diagnostics on the left and then click on reporting. Now we just hit control F on the keyboard and we're going to do a search for IP routing Then copy and paste this information into notepad and let's head over to Portainer. And go ahead and get logged in. First we need to create a Mac VLAN network. So on the left hand side, select network, going to add a network. This one we're going to name it local. You can name yours, whatever you want. 
driver is going to be a Mac VLAN. And then enter the parent network card, the subnet, and the gateway we pulled from the report in Open Media Vault. Click on create the network. And now click on add network again. And this one we're going to call LAN. Again, you can call yours whatever you want. And this will also be a Mac VLAN driver. But this time we're going to select creation instead of configuration. In the drop down box, select the network we made previously. Enable the manual container attachment and now create the network. Let's head over to containers on the left. We're going to add the container and starting at the top, you can name it whatever you want. Add the image name. Because we're adding this to a Mac VLAN network, we don't have to map any ports and volume mapping is not necessary because you can configure everything through the web GUI. Under network, we need to select the second network we created. In this case, it's LAN and then give the container a static address. Set the restart policy to unless stopped and then click on deploy the container. And now we can see here it's running. Let's browse over to the IP address you gave it on port 3000 so that we can configure AdGuard Home. Click on get started. Leave everything default and click next. Create a username and password to access the web GUI, then next. This just goes over common DNS settings, so go ahead and next. And we're going to open the dashboard. Use the credentials you just created. And now we need to set up the reverse lookups for our upstream DNS server. This will show the host names instead of IP addresses on the reporting. So copy the upstream server config to notepad and modify it to match your own network. The n-add or ARPA address inside the brackets will be directed to the IP specified outside the brackets. So the outside IP address needs to point to your gateway. Under settings, then DNS settings, just add the upstream server config. Test the upstreams and then apply it. Finally, we need to update our router's DNS servers. Typically on most home routers, you can just browse to the gateway address and you will be presented with some type of web GUI and you can usually figure it out from that point on. If for any reason you cannot find how to change your, your router's DNS settings, please leave a comment below and hopefully I'll be able to point you in the right direction. I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.